So we found them. <laughs> A little deeper than I thought they were going to be to begin with, but uh, now these fish are holding at about 20 feet, but something very unique, these fish are suspended. So we got perch that are suspended between 5 and 15 feet over 20 feet of water. Kind of crazy, but you know, as you think about it, it's really not that uncommon to see fish group up like this prior to a, a cold front coming in. They'll elevate. They uh, adjust their swim bladders, that uh, low pressure makes them feel like uh, eating. <laughs> Just getting hit like crazy right now. They are stacked, I'll tell you. So what we're doing today is we have some uh, late season ice techniques that we're implementing here. And a lot of times late ice, you uh, put the bait away. You don't really need a lot of bait. We're using artificials for these fish. I'll show you what I'm using here in just a moment. They are pretty aggressive. I mean, I've upsized a couple of times so far. There we go. And uh, right now we are <laughs> getting rough off the transducer there. We are up to what's called a, uh, a jammy XL. Little white one right here. Now you can see the perch aren't very big in this reservoir, but or this lake. But um, as we uh, weed through them, hopefully we'll get a few bigger ones. Just a tremendous population of perch in here. Some of the recent studies they've done are estimating somewhere around oh well, four and a half million perch, something like that. So if you're looking for some fast and furious fishing, this is definitely a lake to take a, keep an eye on here. All right, oh, they're swarming it, they're swarming it, they're swarming it. 12 feet of water, eight feet off the bottom. <laughs> I picked up a couple of rainbows in the mix here as well too, which is pretty typical, and uh, you'll see how a lot of these fish will interact with each other this time of year. Other species uh, tend to use perch, not necessarily as a food source, but to find food for them. Uh, perch are kind of like the cattle of the fish world as they uh, stir up the bottom and start working areas, stuff like that, they, uh, they kick up a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in the water. And these uh, other species will come through and they'll grab it pretty, pretty aggressively. We're going to keep a few of these little guys because uh, this is going to be our key to uh, lakers here in just a little bit. There's some big lake trout in this lake too. There's fish in that 20 to 40 pound range. Hoping to get into you know, something that size, but there are a lot of pups, a lot of uh, lake trout in that. 20 to 24 inch range. And uh, hopefully we'll even get into a few of those because they're just, there's like little rockets. I mean, they're fun to catch. Nothing wrong with fish like that. So I didn't have to drill much. I mean, I, I drilled two holes. First hole I drilled, I was in literally about 30 feet from where I'm sitting. And uh, drilled it one and a half feet of water. <laughs> Surprised I didn't bring vegetation up. but. Uh, suspended fish like this, that could also be a reason that they're sitting so high in the column as they're working up on the top of this edge as they come into the weeds. And they're just coming off that flat, sitting pretty high. <laughs> the cadence is actually pretty aggressive to get these fish to hit. The holds, they don't tend to respond very well to the holds. There's a little negative strike. There we go. They were just playing with it and playing with it and playing with it. <laughs> kind of crazy. I mean, uh, typically you'd you think of perch as a, a bottom feeding fish, and, but they are really quite an aggressive predator. And they go where the food is. Well, I don't know, that could be a good sign. We've got a bit of an overcast sky today on the leading edge of this cold front coming in. And uh, that overcast, uh, can do wonders for ice fishing. Hoping that we don't have to go to uh, glow or anything like that. I think these fish are visually uh, in tune with some of these darker uh, colored jigs and so forth for the type of lake that it is. There we go. Boy, he's chasing. That fish had to have been sitting at seven feet under the cap and just came shooting down to 12. And here comes his buddies. All over me. <laughs> oh, they, oh, there's a flash of red. 
Yeah, they're stacked on him. Any second now. There he is. <laughs> Get that competition going between these fish, and you can pick them up relatively quick. Uh, kind of like a, a hierarchy, I guess you could say, in the fish world. Those are the bigger, aggressive fish tend to get it, but so far, just little guys. Take a second to show you kind of what we've got here. This is what we're using. Now, this is a, an acrylic ball. It looks like eggs over the top of a tungsten core. This is actually a what's called a caviar drop made by Clam Corporation. And this time of year, these perch are preparing for the spawn and uh, can be an excellent egg imitation. And you'll see multiple species pick this up too. We've got display rainbows, all sorts of stuff on this one. And then we're getting rid of the, uh, the live bait and we are going to complete artificial. Now, this is a hand pour uh, jammy. This is also made by Clam. It's a Mackey plastic. Uh, a lot of little fingers on it, a lot of little undulation, kind of a living material when you get it in the water. And that's about it. Running about four pound test line. Don't need to go much lighter than that. Um, reason for the four pound test is uh, we have the potential of catching some bigger fish in here as well. And who knows? I mean, there's tiger muskie in here too. I mean, coming off these flats and stuff is not not uncommon to see them. <laughs> so that is what we're using. Let's see if we can pick up a couple more, and then we're going to move on and see if we can target some other species. Ooh, big mark. I'm shooting down. Fish came out of five feet of water. That's definitely not a perch. Faster that fish was moving. And he got it. That's a little rainbow. <laughs> See? Sometimes you can identify how these fish are moving and what species they are, too. That's, that's kind of neat. I mean, it's just a little guy. There are some pretty good rainbows in here. I don't see anything. Uh, much bigger than this, but I'll get into that 20, 24 inch range, which is a healthy rainbow anywhere you anywhere you look at it. There we go. <laughs> it takes a little bit of doing. Well, tell you what, stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna see if I pick up a few more perch here, and we're gonna move out and see if we can't pick up some bigger fish. So, priority one fishing. Fish Lake, Utah, catching everything. <laughs>